so far, I think the biggest fish we've caught has maybe been six, seven inches. Five, six. Five, six? Come on. That's, the, that's your, that's your manly I have no manly hood. <laughs> I'm fishing a two weight. Spot. I see two fish. I see two fish holding right down there. And they're about as long as my finger. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's a nice spot. Perfect. Nice. Nice. He came up from a long way. I saw him. Very cool little brook trout. All right. Look. He's aggressive. Yeah, he was. There you go. He didn't go far. Nice. There he is.
these small streams here in Colorado, the brook trout are so aggressive. Uh, they're, they'll eat anything, literally anything bushy. I'm not even sure what this fly is called. It's just about a size uh, 14. It's purple. Um, it's a wolf pattern. That's about all I know. And we're getting hits about every other cast, if not every cast. They're just that aggressive. The problem with them is, is that they're so aggressive and they reproduce so quickly that they compete for food and therefore they just don't get very big here in Colorado. Here a, a good brook trout in these little tiny streams is, is 10 inches and that's kind of our goal today. I'm not sure there's a 10 inch brook trout in this particular little stream. Once we get our fill of hooking these little six inchers and four inchers, we'll probably sight fish primarily and try to target some bigger fish. It's pretty much just going to be a guess and a lot of luck if we actually hook into one. Um, sitting here on two weight rods and really light tackle. Uh, you don't need a drag for anything here. You probably need about 30 feet total of line is all you need. And you can strip in all your fish and land them quite easily. But it's uh, solitude. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. And it's a pretty easy hike in this particular little stream. Carl small streams, uh, you're not going to get trophies here. So in this particular piece of water, I think a trophy would be a, an 8 to 10 inch trout. So if we can catch something like that, we will feel like, wow, we really pulled something out of here. If not, we're going to catch 100 fish today. That's probably the truth. And maybe that's our trophy as well. The biggest prize is we made it out here. We're all alone. And um, we have beautiful water in front of us. And that's pretty cool. Jeez, from out of nowhere. Let him eat it. Say, God save the queen. God save the queen. Said it. Nice. Oh. like attacking it. There you go. See the other one? Follow him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Carnivorous little bastards, aren't they? It's like, oh, he's in distress. Let's eat him. <laughs>
if you're uh, especially not from the state or not from high country um, always give yourself plenty of time and understand that just because you don't see weather right above you um, with the mountains the way they are here it could just be over the next ridge and by the time you get packed up it's too late um, always uh, err on the side of caution I think and uh, be aware of the weather so we're gonna take off great day yeah fun times up here highly recommend that people that do visit Colorado think about maybe getting off the beaten path once in a while find a little blue stream somewhere on a map go to a fly shop ask them for some place pick up some big bushy dry flies and just go give it help we'll uh, kind of fish our way back here we only have about another 50, 50 yards back to where our packs are and then pack up get our hiking boots on and head out so thanks